On Tuesday, more than 12,700 cases were reported across New York City schools, more than 8,700 students, and almost 4,000 school staff. The Department of Education chalks up the high number due to the lag time in reporting by principals over holiday break and the addition of rapid test results. From now on, testing will only ramp up with 1.6 million at-home rapid test kits delivered to public schools. We're doing more testing per capita than just about any other jurisdiction in the United States, but we're going to keep expanding that. So far, only 340,000 students have opted into the city's surveillance testing program, swabbing 20% of a school population weekly. City leaders are urging parents to do their part. We definitely need parents to uh, give us consent for testing because the combination of the rapid testing and the surveillance testing system, uh, that PCR testing system, is really what's going to keep us safe. Even with a tsunami of sick calls leading to staffing issues, the city's top doc says science shows the benefits of in-person learning outweigh remote learning. It hinges on on the notion that um, that we have to put kids in the safest environments for them. Uh, and again, the data indicates that uh, schools are safer environments. While the teachers union is working with the city to keep schools open, Michael Mulgrew said absenteeism is the only thing that would shut down school buildings right now. Just massive attendance drop in both students and teachers. Then you realize that it's the 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 virus is so prevalent at this moment in time across the entire city that it just needs, at that point, it has to shut down.